Okay, now that we have this beautiful form and these charts, it's time to make them public or make them available to our students and um, start collecting, collecting data and showing that data on the fly. So we're going to go back to our Google Docs page or any of the Google page pages and there are several ways of uh, embedding these forms into another website or your blog anywhere that you want but for now we're gonna look at Google Sites so I'm gonna click on sites which will open up my sites and this is this is the site that I'm using and you see that uh, those uh, charts have been updated. I'm collecting the data on one side and I'm showing these charts on this side. And I have worked on these websites a little bit more, added more content, but basically adding those uh, f uh, content that we have from our Google Docs would be very simple. All we need to do is click on add a new page which will give us ask us for a name of page so we're gonna give it a nice name I'm gonna type form and charts here and just uh, select the defaults it would be a normal web page and put it at the top level and just say create so it's gonna create this page for me and um, because I like to uh, have the form on one side and the charts on the other side, I'm going to go ahead and change the layout to two columns. I can also select uh, two columns this way if I want to add more header here. So I can add more description here. But I will go ahead and click on insert and on the left hand side I will select spreadsheet form it'll look into my Google Docs directory and show me all of the forms that I have in which case in this case we're gonna select Google Apps demo form and click select and I'm gonna leave the width out so it'll fit perfectly I don't want any borders and include the title click save and there it is my f uh, form here if I click save you're gonna see that it's showing me my form right in this part in order to add my um, add my charts here I'm gonna edit the page again and on the left hand side on the right hand side I'm going to go ahead and insert uh, charts and one more time it's showing me what charts I have available my charts were in Google Apps demo form click select and it's gonna show me all the charts that I have and now because I I was demonstrating these I have duplicates but I can select the charts that I want let's say this one come back here select the I don't want any borders select the title which would be chart 4 or I can say pie chart and the width I'll get rid of so it'll be 100% and the height and let's click save there it is if we save it we have our chart our form here chart there and I will add the other chart uh, the same way down here so I've gone ahead and added the bar chart down below as well and with the same settings and um, this will be it for this video in the next video I'll go over uh, how we can submit these and update the charts in this site